Blog Talk Radio. You are now tuned into the best fatherhood radio show in the world. Furthering Fathering Radio Show. It's the Furthering Fathering Radio Show. The, the, the brothers are back in the building. Brother J in NYC and Brother L in the ATL. The, the, the Furthering Fathering Radio Show starts in five. Four, three, two, one. You ready? L- l- let's get the conversation started. G-O-D. God, homie. Gage on the mic. Beat back on the track. Some call them pop, pop, some call them jives. Whatever your kids my star. Woe to him who is alone when he falls, 
and does not have another to lift him up. Again, if two lie down together, then they keep warm, but how can one be warm alone? And though one can overpower him who is alone, two can resist him. A cord of three strands is not easily broken. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord. So though we are broken and constrict spirits, you have bound us together in your family. You have knitted us together in our mother's womb. You have sewn us together, Lord, uh, uh, in, into a great uh, a tapestry, Lord, uh, 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 that is your body. We thank you, Lord, for togetherness, for oneness, for, for unity, Lord, for, for the power of working together, for one indeed can chase a thousand and two can send ten thousand to flight, that we can do exponentially more when we work together. And as we are expanding and growing, your kingdom is growing, Lord. As we grow as men, your kingdom is maturing, Lord. As our children see us maturing, Lord, they will do the same and, and, and it propagates and it becomes an inheritance of wisdom, an inheritance of faith, an inheritance of joy, an inheritance of unity, an inheritance of service. Thank you, Lord, for the great inheritance. Uh, um, as we operate furthering fathering, taking it from where it was to where you're going, following you, we thank you, Lord, for Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior. We thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit who guides us. We thank you, Lord, for your word and your gospel, Lord, because we are going with the good news. We're not operating in the spirit of this world whose language is complaining, looking at the common and plain, but when you made everything when you made everything, and on the seventh day, you said it was very good. So we want to move from the common and plain to the very good, Lord, to live that abundant life together with you, leading. We love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen, 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 amen. Now, um, we're in an, a, a strong recruitment stage right now. Um, we, re we realize that our, our borders have to expand, and we have to affect more fathers, more places, more families, empower more families, more places, and transform more communities, more places. And what's happening is uh, uh, we put out a recruitment video, and it's getting great response. So I want to thank you, those who responded, uh, uh, Pastor Lee Trillinger, uh, tr uh, Trillinger up in uh, Westchester. We want to thank you, Jerome Elliott, who's uh, talking about expanding us to to Delaware, we want we want to we want to thank uh, uh, Minister Martin Stewart, who's going to be doing videos for uh, Fatherhood today. We we want to thank Pastor Grant over in Brooklyn for he wants his his, his men's ministry connected with us to do more uh, uh, fatherhood forums. Uh, we're looking for expansion, not just here in New York, but we we look for what's happening with Ricardo and, and, uh, and our dear sister Charity down in in uh, High Point. North Carolina, with our, with our brother Colin and brothers Joe or, and, and brother Bruce over in, in Charlotte, we we look forward to what's happening uh, 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 with 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 uh, the deacon uh, uh, down in Virginia, also Eric Elliott down in Virginia. We look for expansion and things to grow. But Jersey, oh my goodness, Jersey with brother Oba, with 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 Pastor Jamel, with with Pastor Martin, with with even our own board member Dr. Dr. Naisha Brown. Things are going to happen in Jersey, and we're looking forward to that. But but I'm going to open up the phone because we had a great meeting on on Sunday um, regarding expanding our borders, and and, and I'm going to bring in our brother, uh, our, our um, resident life coach, and um, brother Guy. How you doing, my, my brother? Hey, brother Jeremy. How are you doing? Oh, I am excited, excited. Listen, I'm blessed with 115,000 heartbeats and 23,000 breaths for today, and I'm going to make the most of them. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> yes, Indeed. Sir, yes, sir. Make sure you're talking into your mic uh, uh, because we want the wisdom to flow because uh, you always bring it, my brother. So um, there's uh, 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 we were talking about the importance even uh, as we were uh, dealing with men and compartmentalizing, but the, where we did not get to go uh, because we had to end it was the importance of men having accountability partnerships 
to help them shift from where they're compartmentalizing and focusing to something more important that they need to focus on. I, I'll give you an example. You, you told me, because you know I tend to be hard on myself, because, you know, you know, being the son of a, of a perfectionist and, and, and a son of a go-getter, sometimes you, you look at the mistakes you made and you, you linger on right. it, and you tell me not to ponder, not to ponder. But right. see, pondering has two sides to it. You know, because I ponder, that's why I receive revelation from God, uh, 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 because I ponder. But but you have to take ponder and then move from ponder to wonder, because that's when you recognize that God is in, in, the, in the presence, that you move in awe of the possibilities, and then you start to put things in order. So you ponder, you wonder, and you put things in order. That's what we talk about uh, Mark Gunger in his nothing box. Well, that's what we do when we're sitting there in a vegetative state. We're pondering, we're wondering, and we're putting things in order. Uh, um, can you talk to the, to, to, to the listening audience because we're in that recruitment state and we want them to join the team. Why it's so important to have accountability partners in a safe place like in Further and Father? Well, one, one reason is, uh, is because uh, I, I think I mentioned it last week that um, and especially fathers, we tend to think that we're the only ones in it. We we tend to think we're in it alone because men um, men get together differently from women. You know, when women are at they uh, when they're at they at they low state, they they can gather, and when men are at they low state, they they want to be alone. We we basically want to be alone, and uh, you know we we we're at the, our peak state. That's why you know, the NBA and, and uh, um, Major League Baseball, they actually play on our peak state, you know, so that it's, it's, it's uh, getting together, having beer and having, you know, having fellowship and, and, and high-fiving your team, you know. But when we had our low, when we had our low state, we tend to want to be alone. But what right. helps us is gathering, you know, and, and coming together as and literally help each other that way. So when we come together, yeah, you broke up on that last congregate. Sentence. Okay, yeah, can you, you hear me now? That last sentence. Repeat that last sentence. Okay, I said when we when we come together and we congregate, we can we can help one another much better. Because what happens to us is that we can we bounce off of ideas with one another also. So a, a lot of times men think they they have to go it alone. We think that's being strong, but actually coming together and being more tribal will make us stronger, and it, 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 yes. it's more healthy too. And then we can so, we we yes. it builds also it builds empathy amongst one another, and and empathy, and empathy has a, a, a greater um it, it has a greater level of, of building up uh, self esteem. You know, saying like, say, the difference between empathy and sympathy is, you know, a person to give you an example, you know, uh, when a person is sympathizing with you in your low state, the person that sympathizes with you, they may, you know, say, hey, can I get you a cup of coffee? Or, uh, you know, I see you down. Uh, yeah, I, I felt that way too, you know, because they sympathize with you. But when someone empathizes with you, they they tend to be in your space. So they'll yeah. be like, oh, I, I see you, you know, I see you down. I'm going to just sit here with you, you know, and, and be part of the space that you're in. So you won't yeah. be alone. So you won't feel alone. And that's the difference. So we as men, we have to start learning how to be accountable for one another and start building up one another and help building up our self-esteem with one another. And, and it's an important, it's important part of us to do that because it actually strengthens us. You know, yeah. the old saying, it, it also liberates nuggets. us because, you're right. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, um, it also liberates us because um, you spend a lot of time um, uh, um, frustrated. The, the the level of bitterness grows. The the letter, letter of, of um, uh, agitation grows. Um, yes. The level of stress grows, and we know stress is a killer. So really, yes. In the isolated state, when you when you when you uh, 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 not in fellowship. Um, in, in that false promoted uh, state in, uh, called independence. Um, right. That's, the independence is for the prey. 
<laughs> exactly. If you, just look at the uh, wolf. Um, look at wolf. They they move in packs. They move in packs because exactly. they don't they don't move. They not they not independent because they are loyal. Then they loyal to one another. They loyal to their pack. You know, if you see right. one wolf, you're not in danger. If you see more than one wolf, you're gonna be, you're in danger. <laughs> you know what I'm it's feeding you're, time. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, um. When we operate in agreement, when we operate in um, celebration, when we operate in wisdom, when we operate in love as men, that is the building state. That is the, 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 the ground of construction. Things happen when two men gather, three men gather, four men gather, and love is happening, real love, uh, um, exactly. where you're concerned about the godly state of that man. Real love, exactly. when, when joy happens, when celebration happens. You talk about how a stadium is loud when men are cheering for their team. Well, our theme for recruitment is join the team. It's exactly. different. <laughs> 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 when you're on the team, your cheering is even at a higher level than when you're in the stands. Exactly. Because exactly. you're participating, you have an investment in what's going on. And we want you to be a part of Further and Father, invested in the, 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 the improvement, the elevation of fatherhood, investment in the empowering of families, and investment in the transforming of communi communities. We want to give a shout-out to uh, Kenny Braswell of uh, Fatherhood Incorporated, our, our, our partner down there in, in, in Atlanta. We, we want to give a shout-out to Colin Pickney of uh, Harvest in Charlotte. Uh, uh, we want to give a shout-out to, uh, as I said before, Pastor Jamel and, and, and Pastor Grant and Pastor Mark Whistle. Matter of fact, <coughs> I want to give a shout out to our board members, uh, Patrick Myers and and, and Teresa O'Neill and Doctor uh, uh, Doctor Brown, Doctor Naisha Brown and, and and David Finn and Pastor Mark T. Witzel. Uh, uh, um, uh, we we are very thankful that uh, you thought in that robbery to 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 to, to support us. Um, and it requires support uh, uh, for further and fathering to do what we do, to be hands on. Uh, we don't we don't leave it for somebody else to to to, to fix it. We, we're hands on. And um, uh, 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 once told uh, 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 by Kenny, he said, "If you're looking for the cavalry to come, look around. Look around <laughs> exactly. again. Exactly. Exactly. They're not coming. You are the cavalry." It's just you like the when they say there's no book on parenting. That's not true. Our children, the first learning style of children is observation. We are the book on parenting. Exactly. Speaking of books, um, we look forward to um, you uh, uh, purchasing the mandate. Um, uh, and doing the studies that come with the mandate, we we want to connect with the churches, we want to connect with the schools, we want to connect with, with with the municipalities. And instead of complaining and beating up fathers, help us to build up fathers, help us to build up to empower families, and help us to transform communities. Uh, 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 um, we can we can do it in your church. We can do it at your school. We can go to your jail. We can do whatever it wherever it takes. To, to, to make it happen because the material is ready. The men are ready. And, and, and I know even those who want something and need something to do, who, who want to contribute, let me tell you how this operates. On Sunday when we had our meeting, our meeting was specifically to talk about how the men, what they're doing, uh, will add on to further and fathering. In other words, we're not trying to change anybody. What we're trying to do is enhance. And when we enhance you, we enhance us. And, that, and, and uh, 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 brother, brother God, um, just to give yes. a little peek into, into, the, into, the, into uh, what we were talking about on, on Sunday, um, 
we were talking about the importance of properly packaging what you have and properly pricing what you have to offer, that if you undervalue yourself, you're going to be frustrated uh, and remain at a level beneath what you're worth. Also, if you don't package and let anyone know about it, you'll be sitting on inventory that will bless, it's designed to bless, but nobody who needs the blessing can receive it because they haven't heard about it. So it's important for us to get the word out, get the word out, get the word out. Can you speak to that, my brother? So the guy, you still there? You might be on mute by mistake. <laughs> but I still have you in the queue. So um, Brother Guy has a great um, uh, 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 coaching and to, to break the husk and get people out of where they were into, into a state of where they should be going. And he, he made it clear that we should not confuse counseling and coaching. Counseling deals with your past. Coaching deals with your future and gets you to Correct. break behaviors so that you can move to where you're supposed to go, well, even if you're limping, <laughs> even if you're hopping, even if you're in a wheelchair, but you're moving forward toward your destiny instead of focusing on the accidents, focusing on the errors, Focusing on the what the, your parents or grandparents did or didn't do, you have full control of what God has stewarded to you, and He has stewarded to you your life, brother God. Can you speak to that uh, 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 um, about the importance of coaching and why coaches coaching is important in furthering fathering uh, using the the, the 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 heart curriculum? Right. Can you, can you hear me now? I, yes, I can I'm, hear you now. I can hear you okay, now. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. Well, the the important like uh, when I was explaining about the difference between uh, counseling and coaching, I say uh, counseling is, is is actually to heal your past. Coaching is actually uh, to heal is where you are now to take you where you need to be in the future. And uh, one of the things about that, that will help you is. Uh, as, as a coach, it, it's not my uh, it's not my job to. I'm not your supervisor. I'm not your boss. I'm not any of those things. I'm, I'm your comrade, and and and, and my duty is, is not to the the show what's wrong with you. It's the show what's right with you. So in, in my duties, you know, I you know, it's five it's five things that I do as a coach to 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 get you where you need to be. And you know, one is is to question. Next is to listen. Third is to clarify, the other is to refrain, and 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 last is, is to give feedback, and and that's what I do. And also, because I'm an interventionist, you know, I I I interrupt the uh, uh, the disruptive, and and what I mean by that is that we have patterns, and we have patterns that we call habits that we do things over and over again. Oh, I think I lost you, brother. Uh, you said you have patterns, and we do things over and over again. And I know what you were going to say. And the job of the coach is to help you break the pattern. Break those, so that you right? Break those so, patterns so you can right. So you can re. So you can actually uh, create a create a new you, a better you, or a greater you. Any of those things that take you to that next level, you know. So as a, and and again, as a group setting. You know, as we come as a group, also like in, in, in further and fathering, and, and, and takes for instance the, the the five principles of the heart curriculum. You know, which is honor and and encouragement, accountability, reconciliation, and training. Those five principles right there alone help you know, will help you take you to that next level because that's a, what a lot we need. We we just need that. We need that pull sometimes. We talked about. Two, Yep. You, you talk about pull. pull yeah, you broke up again. I know what you're gonna say. You talk about pull uh, uh, encouragement versus push encouragement, 
And um, right. oh, we we have another call on the line because I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna end it there because we're gonna start that up next week. Um, and, and mind you, it is his Women's Month, History Month, so we're gonna uh, uh, have some of our dynamic daughters of distinction on the uh, the following two weekends. But I I, I want to bring in our our, our, our our brother here to add to the conversation. Brother, how how you doing today? I'm doing Ending fine. In. How are you doing? Uh, uh, oh my goodness. Who who who's on the line? <laughs> I'm not sure if you were talking to me. This is Brother Harper out of North Carolina. Yes, yes, it is. I am talking to you, Brother Harper. But, uh, yes, yeah, I Brother got here so late. I was just going to listen and try my best to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you haven't gone through the heart curriculum, and, and, and I'm sure that you will, and, and and excited about what you're going to be doing in North Carolina, but. Um, we are talking about the importance of partnering, and you said something that you're not about recreating the wheel. Um, and, and in the last, and can you give me like two minutes of why it's important to partner, why it's important to be part of something like Furthering Fathering? And, um, and then we'll get back to, to uh, Brother Guy for the last minute or so. Okay, yeah, and, and before I get, I want to make sure I get information on the heart curriculum. I also want to get information on the event event in Atlanta that the brother brought up last week. If you could get that into me, I'd appreciate it because I'm very close so to Atlanta. The Fatherhood Expo, which will be um, the Fatherhood Expo, um, which will be happening in Atlanta, and we will get the information out to you regarding the Fatherhood Expo um, in June. Um, yes, uh, we will get that information out to you. Um, but one of, the, one of the things about I've learned about partnering with other organizations and other teachers is, is this is a constant, constant learning process. It's a constant way that we stay ahead of how our youth are evolving, our families, our world, and uh, you just you just have to be a lifelong student. Uh, you just have to be a lifelong student to keep up, uh, to grow as a person. Uh, like like many people have said, if you're not the biggest student in the room, you'll never be a great teacher. So. That that's yeah. what I get from it. Oh, that's awesome! That's awesome. You know, as a father, as a father uh, who is designed to be prophet, priest, and king, and arch archangel, and coach, and uh, um, uh, uh, the the fixer of things, and what have you, um, we uh, uh, what I've learned, even as, as a minister and as a teacher, is that you're you're basically a student who shares. What a teacher is, what a father is, what a leader is, is a student who shares. <laughs> so um, we want to share what, what what has been given to each of us um, with you. Uh, um, and what we find is when men go through our heart curriculum, they stay on and be- either become trainers or facilitators, or in, in the case of like our brother K.O., who, who, who got it by osmosis because he was in the room, he is now really involved in us doing our events and what have you. But in other words, an avenue for you to use your gifts will present itself, and we are serious about coming alongside you and letting you use your gifts the best way you know how and proving them. So Man, the last, the acronym, I went crazy. I cannot wait to get that that curriculum. I'm tell, I, I feel like when it comes to the Word of God and things like this, the more I learn, the dumber I get, man. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So, wow, we're down to uh, like almost a minute left in the show. Uh, uh, brother, brother Guy, um, you, if you notice, we start off with honor. You talk about breaking uh, – we talk about breaking the pattern. We're in a serious pattern of dishonor, a serious pattern of entitlement, a serious p- pattern of silencing fathers, a serious pattern of disrespect. When we go through from honor to encouragement, accountability, reconciliation, and training, what is broken and what is is, is uh, what comes out of it? Why do men latch on and stay and become? Powerful in furthering fathering. Uh, if you could give us that in just a few seconds. <laughs> oh, it sounds like you're still joking up. I'm okay, broken up go. again. I think no, I hear home. you now. Okay. Those five principles are really the core to, to fatherhood. 
That's what they really are, and and it gets to the. I mean, it's an acronym for for heart, and that's what it is. It, it gets to the bottom of the heart of a father, and it's the core. And if you use those five principles, you can you can go day to day to day and, and make it work. Explain powerful, it. powerful, powerful, powerful. Well, this is furthering fathering, where fatherhood is elevated, and families are empowered, and communities are transformed. Where an ounce of encouragement. And accountability outweigh a ton of criticism. Join the team. Be a part of Furthering Fathering. www.furtheringfathering.org/slash/membership. Hope to see you soon. Till next week. We love you. <laughs>